Hola a todos, soy Antonia de Chile, Sudamérica. Estás viendo Fan for Louis. Disfruta. Good morning, guys. We're sitting around eating a delicious breakfast, and we're waiting for uh, the horse guy. Apparently, there's a guy with horses coming to take us for a ride. Well, we've been waiting around for a couple of hours, guys, and it doesn't look like the uh, the horsey guy is going to show. So, I don't think we're going to get to ride horses today, which is sad. But Ben said there's a cool beach nearby, so I think we're going to go and drive down to that and have a little swim because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. We're getting lathered up. Sleeping in these tents was so comfortable last night. Honestly, amazing. I just couldn't get over the fact that four of us were sleeping on the roof of a car. How awesome is that? So I think we're ready to head off. We grabbed a bunch of water. Remember to stay hydrated guys, very important, especially in the heat. Now we're heading to a beach nearby which Ben recommended to go swimming. Some guy just drove into us with a lorry. It's alright, right. Thankfully there's no damage to the car. Don't mind us. Oi, now there's a horse in the road. It's an horse. Oi, should we get that one? I want that one. I want that one. I think she just didn't turn up. I think we could probably just kidnap a wild horse and take it for a ride. I don't think anyone would care. We have just pulled over to get some shots, but Nick's showing us a random girl's story because we've got quite a few random users on the app now. Her name is Lara, I'm gonna guess, but I could be wrong. Lara Jean. And it's awesome watching people who have never vlogged or made stories before start making stories. We're gonna go and check out this place to find some food. It's pretty legit. Guys, look at this burnt out bus. Louis, that is what you need in your life. That's amazing. Right, we're arriving at a backpackers to get some lunch, hopefully. Thankfully this backpacker does do food. I think we're going to get some sandwiches. Bosh. Yeah, Alright. Right, we've eaten, we've had our coffee, and now we're gonna go meet Dan, who's just come back with Pumba from East London. Yay. And I think these guys are gonna go surfing. Oh yeah, we surfing. are. Surfing. I don't know if I will, but it's a little bit cold. Killed by sharks. Right, this is the situation. We have parked up, ready for these guys to surf, but Dan has arrived with Pumba, like, over the other side of the beach. And he either goes the short way across the beach, well, the long way, all the way around the bridgeway, which is like an hour. So I think he's going to try and drive to us on the beach. Okay. Dude, he looks like he's reversing onto the beach. So there's a high chance in a little while we're going to be pushing Pumba out of the sand. <laughs> Are you going to go swimming? Yeah, maybe. 
But what has Ben just told you? Ben just said it's more likely there is a great white shark in this bay than not. So why would you go swimming? I don't know, just living on the edge. <laughs> Danger's my middle name. <laughs> why not? Why not? This is a terrible idea. We're currently parked next to what is apparently a shark infested bay and Louis is getting ready to go in. Coming in? Ben. Word on the street is that it's likely there's a great white in there. Over here? Yeah. Probably, in the bay? Yeah. Probably, like, the likelihood is there is a shark around these parts. But you think that it is worth swimming, even though there is a chance. Like, there is a chance you could get eaten by a shark. Yeah. Alright, well, we've weighed it up, and I think the decision is that we're all going swimming. Guys, Pumba has arrived with Dan and this is Ingrid. Hey! How's your journey, bro? Good, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it was, uh, it was quite a mission, but we, we sorted everything out. My foot is fine, it's like a nice sock. It's like a little hair nice. in my toes to come out. So they didn't amputate in the end. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna say, what's up, bro? Right, so that's the last shot you're gonna see of Louis. So I'm gonna be taking over this channel from now on. Nice to meet you guys. out the water and I was trying out a new underwater camera I've got but it wasn't looking great so I put the GoPro on charge and whilst I'm waiting I've come over here to watch the boys go for a little surf. You the cameraman today Nick. Even though I wasn't surfing, but we've come back to this amazing pizza restaurant that we came to last night. Did you have a good surf earlier, Ben? Yeah, it was pretty sketchy. When I was sitting on my board, my toes were actually touching the rocks where yeah. you had to take off. Well, we've finished dinner, we've finished Laptop Club. We've been chilling here for a couple of hours. It's been lovely listening to Bob Marley and hanging out. The, uh, the other guys have all gone to bed. They're actually staying for, uh, for the day tomorrow, but sadly Jack is leaving. He's only been here like th three days? Three days, man. I'm so sad to be leaving. Yeah, it's been man. like the coolest couple of oh. days. Hanging with you bros. Yeah. What about hanging with the chicken? He's had a good time. He has, hasn't he? Wow. I, um, yeah, I don't want to go back to London, man. Yeah. You should have stayed up longer, bruv. Do you know what this means, though? This means we're just going to have to plan another South African adventure next year. All right, let's do it now. Let's commit. Okay. Next year, let's South do Africa. It. Let's do it. Right, we're back at the cars. I'm going to clamber up into my tent and get some sleep. Tomorrow, we're driving up to Durban to drop Jack at the airport. He's flying back to London. And then we're continuing on another phase of the road trip. Uh, Ange, Rhiannon and Michelle her friends are flying in and then we're going up to this cool place to do some scuba diving. Right, it's here tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, live the adventure. Boom. <laughs> 